Hi, I'm Zenya from Total Prepare, and today we're going to be talking about preparedness for seniors and older adults. Let's get started. No matter who you are, there are some emergency preparedness basics that never change. You'll need to learn about your local hazards, make an emergency plan, and put together an emergency kit. We cover these in detail in our blogs and other videos, which I will link to in the description. In this video, however, we're going to focus on what's different about preparing as or for a senior or older adult. According to Help Age International, older people are some of the hardest hit during major emergencies. While work is being done to try to address this through public services, it is still a major issue. So what are the biggest senior specific challenges that are most often faced in an emergency? They are mobility issues, financial limitations, health concerns or limitations, technology, and isolation and invisibility. Let's take a look at each. Mobility can be hard on a good day for many older people, let alone during an emergency. Paths can be hazardous or uneven, elevators unsafe, and doorways blocked during many kinds of disasters. Every emergency is a little different, so use your judgment and experience to decide if a situation is one you are able to safely maneuver through. If not, draw attention to yourself any way you can. Having a medical or emergency alert on your person or in your living space is ideal for this. If that is not an option, crank up a radio or shout for help. Here are some specific ways you can prepare with mobility in mind. Get a medical or emergency alarm. If you live in special housing, you may be able to request one be installed. If you live in a building with stairs, request that an emergency evacuation chair be stored near a stairwell or on your floor. Keep a help OK sign with your kit. These can be placed in a window so first responders can see at a glance that you need assistance. Communicate with your caregivers, neighbors, or network and request that they check up on you if there is an emergency. Keep emergency supplies compact and portable. Talk with a professional about how you can minimize the weight of your kit and store it in a wheeled suitcase or tote. 9% of the people visiting Canadian food banks are seniors whose fixed income simply can't keep up with inflation. Similarly, a lot of older people have trouble affording things like emergency kits and supplies. For anyone preparing on a budget, there are a few things that can be done to keep costs down. Investing in freeze-dried food can be expensive, so store canned goods. Buy an extra can of something every time you shop and rotate through older goods first. This will bulk up your pantry over time, helping you to be resilient in emergencies. Mylar bags and oxygen absorbers can be used to preserve bulk dry food relatively cheaply. I'll link to another video on that in the description. Use what you already have to build an emergency kit. Many of the supplies you'll need can already be found in your home. Putting them together in one place or keeping a list of what you need to grab in a hurry can be a good way to get prepared while keeping costs down. Build supplies over time. Make a list of what you want in your emergency kit, then keep it in a purse, wallet, or phone. Keep an eye out for sales and opportunities at garage sales and thrift shops to gather the pieces. Over 85% of people aged 65 or older report having at least one chronic health condition. Getting the care or resources you need for your health concerns can get tricky in an emergency. Even something as common as a power outage can be a major challenge for those relying on equipment to monitor them or keep them healthy. Here are some preparedness options to consider if you have health concerns. Wear a medical bracelet to communicate any allergies or special needs to responders. Keep extras of any prescription medication along with a list of all your medication and dosages in your kit. Rotate through the medicine so it stays fresh. Keep extra batteries on hand for any essential medical equipment. If it's an option, consider investing in a generator or large backup battery. If communication is a challenge for you, keep pre-written response cards, a pen, and a notepad in your kit. Cards should have basic responses, emergency contact information, and common phrases. For example, you might have cards for yes, no, I don't know, I can't hear you, I need the bathroom, or I'm hungry. Pack spare glasses, any orthopedic shoes, or dentures, if applicable. Lastly, pack a repair kit for any walkers, wheelchairs, or similar equipment if you need it. While many seniors and older adults have become pros with technology, there is still a noticeable knowledge gap for many. Meanwhile, emergency communications are happening digitally through emergency alerts, online check-ins, and emergency updates on social media. For people whose skill sets are rooted outside of technology, this can make staying informed and getting resources in an emergency tricky. 
If this is an area of concern for you, there are a couple things you could do in advance to prepare. Investigate in advance by asking your municipality where planned emergency shelters are, familiarizing yourself with online platforms and resources before an emergency, and if needed, write out step-by-step -step instructions on how to access these resources and information so you can do so in an emergency. Keep a radio in your kit and confirm what stations are best in your area for emergency updates. Don't forget to pack spare batteries. Research conducted by HelpAge International shows that some of the biggest issues that arise for older adults in humanitarian crises are isolation and invisibility. Not being reunited with a family or network, having a harder time getting access to services, and having needs for support overlooked are all part of this problem. While many response and emergency preparedness organizations are making great steps towards strengthening best practices in emergency response for seniors, the fact that it can be a problem is good to keep in mind. Things you might be able to do to mitigate these problems include Build a support network prior to the emergency. Connect with people who know you and know that you might need their assistance both during an emergency and after while recovering. My mom always says the squeaky wheel gets the oil, and in my experience, she's correct. If you find yourself in an emergency situation and you need help or support, don't be afraid to ask for it. If you don't feel you've been heard, keep asking. While researching this topic, I was actually surprised by how little senior specific information there was out there when preparing for emergencies. So I want to know what you think. Did we miss anything or do you have any additional tips for older people preparing for emergencies? Let us know in the comments. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have questions or concerns and you already want to talk to a professional, please reach out to us at hello at totalprepare.ca or by phone at 1-888-832-1733. If you'd like to shop for emergency preparedness supplies or read other preparedness resources, please check us out online at totalprepare.ca. Thank you so much for watching and remember, be prepared, not scared. Take care.